Russia's invasion of Ukraine is going on more than four months. And the Ukrainian American Cultural Center of New Jersey continues sending a steady stream of supplies to help soldiers and families affected by the devastation. We just want to do anything possible to help Ukraine. We were under Russian threat for so many years. They killed so many Ukrainian. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's very personal. It's very painful. It's, uh, uh, it's feel like somebody ripping your soul out of your body. Roxolana Vaskul Lestruk is the Cultural Center's director and an anesthesiologist at Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center. Under her watch, more than a million meals have been sent to people fighting for her home country, along with stretchers and thousands of first aid kits. She grew up under the Soviet Union, and so she couldn't read a Ukrainian book. She couldn't speak the Ukrainian language. She couldn't go to Ukrainian church. This was all against the law, and if she did anything like that, she would be thrown into jail or worse. When people ask me, do you still have family in Ukraine? Uh, every Ukrainian in my family, my family is in Mariupol getting killed. Volunteers come and sort out donations hoping to help their family members still in Ukraine. Everybody have the family over there. I personally have family in Ukraine and my husband have family in Ukraine. And we really worry about them. So it's very important for us to help them. They send humanitarian aid to Kyiv about once a week and it gets distributed from there. When the invasion started, thousands of cars came by the cultural center. This whole building was packed with supply. Uh, and we talking about diapers, we talking about food. We were so grateful and we're still grateful. We're still grateful to feel that somebody love us, that we're part of a uh, American community. Since then, donations have slowed. So the Cultural Center found other ways to raise money. These handmade bracelets have brought in thousands of dollars and a little more hope. We can see this slow down. We don't have much uh, donation. We don't see like much people coming, but we try and do a, a lot of uh, advertisement, like a lot of stuff selling, uh, tell everybody. So they see the war not stop and we have to, we have to help them over there. They're fighting with their hearts because they know the price of freedom. They know what it means to lose freedom. We've had that before, and so now they don't want to do that again. They don't want that freedom to be taken away, and they want the future generations to be able to live in a country where they can celebrate their history. It's eating me alive, really, because I, when I'm not doing something, I feel so guilty. I feel like, uh, what about them? How they feel? Uh, they need it. So definitely we need it. We need more help. Innocent lives are being taken away and they can't, their dreams and hopes are being tarnished. And that's really why this is important and why should, you should keep giving and why we're asking people to donate and to help because those are people, that's my homeland, that's my country, and please, please help. Vaskul Lestruk says the most important donations now are medical supplies and clothing. In Whippany, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.